Hey guys, back again with the production version of the T-Motor 2203.5 Super Efficient Lightweight Motors. Pretty excited to make this video. Jump on the website for the detailed specs. This is also the quad from my last video. There's a link below for that. This is the 1500 kV variant. Here I'm just confirming the stator size. The build finish is what you would expect from any premium motor. You can see T-Motor again went with the star connection for these motors as pointed out in my last video. The bell's quite nice, it's a matte black with a gold finish, it really sets it off. It also uses a proper retaining screw, not a C-clip. Sourcing a lightweight 6-inch prop for these motors was a little bit of a challenge. I really couldn't see anything available on the market. I did see Gemfan have a new super light bi-blade 6-inch prop, but unfortunately this is a T-mount. I reached out to Gemfan and they said that there was a 5mm version coming, but I just couldn't wait. 3 grams though, that's quite nice. HQ have a solid prop, other than it also being a T-mount. This was the prop that Stan FPV collaborated on for his Cinebird frame. I do think this prop is the way to go though, so I'll try my luck drilling it out. Drilling out polycarbonate is pretty straightforward, so I think this is a really viable option. I've now got a lightweight 4 gram 6 inch prop that will suit this motor ideally. Why even bother with the 6 inch? Well, this allows me to effectively use the 21700 cells rather than the 18650s I've been using recently. More capacity. Hell yeah. I think I've got the ideal prop and motor combination for an endurance quad. Let's get the frame done. The endurance quad is all built up, now it's time to put it to the test. This is the DVR of my endurance flight. The goal here was to maintain a 40 km per hour average and keep the quad in the air as long as I could go for. Up the top right you can see the total distance travelled, bottom right I've got the elapsed time, in the middle bottom I've got the kilometer average, and over to the left I've got the milliamp hours consumed, the voltage and the amperage. You can see the amps barely peak over 5. So now I'm getting to the time I achieved on the ultralight 5 inch of 37 minutes. That was using the 18650 cells. So by stepping up the battery capacity, I knew I'd get a little bit more on the 6 inch, but by how much I was unsure of. So here as I'm coming to the end of the flight, you can see the quads bobbling around a little bit. My battery's sagging to about 2 volts. It's only a 4S, so that's 8 volts in total. I'm amazed that the quad is still in the air at this point. Coming into land, 55 minutes. Wow. So I'm just out here in the field. Um, I just flew the ultralight six inch, uh, 55 minutes. And I flew it approximately, I think it was just over 35 kilometers total distance. Um, so this is it here. This is running the um, 21, uh, 21700 cells. So these are 5,000 milliamp hours. Only rated at 10 amps, but uh, this quad sort of only pulls about nine amps max when you're cruising at a 40 to 50 kilometers. So. Um, pretty good overall, pretty happy with that actually. You can see on this chart that averaging 5 amps gives you a discharge time of about 55 minutes on the Samsung 50E cells, pretty much spot on to what I achieved with this quad. It's not all about pedestrian speeds with these quads, I doubled the cruise average to 80km per hour for this 15k test flight, completed in just over 11 minutes. The power is definitely there if you need it too. Now all this performance comes at the expense of durability. These ultralight quads are not going to be for everybody. They really are not meant to be crashed. However, the capability of them is amazing. If you still need convincing, here's some footage I captured with my Naked Hero 8. I'll catch you next time guys. They
They wanna judge me, I'll testify Catch me on Insta, I'm verified They want me quiet, I amplify I'm on my way, on my way to The best thing that you've ever seen, you Know that you bow to the queen, you Lose all your senses and reason I'll give you something to believe in OMW On my way to you Good at what I do I'm OMW OMW On my way to you Good at what I do I'm O and W On my way, on my way On my way, on my on my way Yeah O M W Nothing left to prove So I gotta hit the beat I gotta hit the beat beat I gotta hit the beat I gotta hit the beat beat I gotta hit the beat